It um, the, the Polly Rand was part of the R Rand Corporation. Is that right? Is that... What's so Rand if if you Google the Rand Corporation, um, they're a think tank. So she's a daughter of a think tank um, family that that started a, a a think tank, and I'm not quite sure what that means, but I think that it's um, intellectual property and uh, technology and all that kind of stuff. But but of course this when Dad was went out with her it was 19. 54 and yeah. yet and and so the rand company or the rand family i think that rand corporation mm -hmm. already existed then if it didn't exist then it would exist in the 60s it it's would eventually soon after. yeah because they've been around for a while Interesting. that might have been Did you before. look them up mm -hmm. and actually i actually had heard about them even before i first learned that, that dad um really they, one of his first girlfriends was polly rand i had heard of them because you know what color hair yeah. does Polly Rand have? Blonde. She's blonde. Really? You like the blondes, huh? Sandy and... <laughs> yeah. What about... What was the middle one? Janice? Janice. Oh, Janice. Oh, Janice, Janice blonde? She might have had blonde. But, but the two main girlfriends he had at Danbury High School were Janice and this other woman who... Do you remember her name? I actually don't remember it. Who? But we'll get the yearbook later. She is blonde and like really blonde. And Janice is brown. So, Dad, you don't have a particular... Pref uh, Prejudice towards brown or blonde. No. Uh, in fact, our mom is brown hair. Your daughters um, are blonde. And your daughters are blonde. They got the recessive. They got the 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 blonde. So, it sounds like your preference had more to do with being soft and peaches and cream than it had to do with the color of the <laughs> <Yeah>. hair. <laughs> I, I think that's probably a better criteria to go by than than the color of someone's hair. <laughs> Janice was peaches and cream. She sure was. <clears throat> How do you stay with someone for two years in high school when everyone is switching partners and going to the school dance and making out with a new person? That's a long high school relationship. Well, if you have a good relationship, you have a good relationship and you stick with it. Well, I guess that's a, an explanation. You know, yeah. you're you're happy with that person and, and you continue to to stay with them. But it's just funny because high school, you know. <laughs> You hear about these high school relationships, they're like a month, three months, you know. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, in the movies, wow. right, it's like maybe three years because they're, they're like, whatever, some kind of movie. But in real life, it's usually shorter. So you found, you found a, a good one in Janice, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder who she's with now. Well... Do we it's, know her last name? It's, it's we don't know her, her if if she's married we